Hey man, how well, are you? Hey, right. Ah, top, Pilin. top. Hey man, hey, long time, long, long time. time, my brother. Um, How's things? Look, lockdown, mm. uh, but we've got a push. Um, yeah. Happy to be alive. I'm alive. I'm kicking. Yeah. I see you. You. You are in good shape as well. Uh, <laughs> it's been tough, eh? But uh, yeah, I'm excited that you know everything is now yes. being open. But obviously, yeah. we need to be extra cautious. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, look good. What, what, what did you get up to, man? How did you um did, uh, handle all this? You know, with um no business, people are sitting at home. You know. Uh, yeah, it's been tough, man. Yeah. It's been tough, and. Um, I had that show, you remember, on the Instagram that I was yes. doing, you know, okay. get to get the guys to talk about it, you know. That, that, I like that. Yeah, you the like assist. it. Yeah. yeah, man, it was, it was quite fun, you know, the guys were so free, you know, t chatting about, you know, some stuff that they never got to tell people about. I thought the name was, was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Tell me, the assist. <laughs> the assist. Because uh, people, they don't pay a lot of attention yeah. uh, to the assist. No, we always look at those who scored that that yeah. goal. But but just tell me, how how did you get to I the name? I think I think it came about the the shower situation. The goal he scored in yes. the World Cup. Obviously, I gave him the uh, the assist. The assist, and yeah. Yeah, the, the the name came from there. And you know, taking that to the show. I want to ask something. Did Shaba yeah. pay you? No. Uh, he owes you. Do you didn't invoice him for that? You didn't I need invoice to. Him. I haven't. Yeah, I, I think haven't. you should invoice him for that because yeah. yeah, that that I mean, you you cannot miss that. You cannot no, miss that. No, definitely yeah, that not. was that was yeah. a plate. Yeah. You just need to finish it off. No, great no, stuff. he never. But um, you know, he always had thanked me yes. for that okay. because yeah. look, after all, it was a good. Uh, a, you know, team teamwork effort. Yeah. Uh, everyone played a huge role in yes. that. Yes. Yes. It wasn't yes. an easy goal to score. Uh, you no, know, even to create because you know the, you remember, man. The midfield was so congested. Yeah. You know, they were. Yeah. yeah. You know, they made yeah. us run. Yes. You know, before we got to win that ball, they were just popping us around. And yeah, man. Are you talking about Bafana Bafana? Are you? I mean, we are obviously celebrating ten years. Yeah, yeah. Um, hosting the World Cup, uh, successful World Cup ever. Um, are you disappointed that um, we didn't get through to the next stage? And how would you sum up your your contribution to the national team yeah. as the generation? Look, um, yeah, we were disappointed. We were the host. We should have gone further. But you know, one can't for, uh, can't you know question the effort that we put in. Yes. Same applies with the Confederations Cup. You know, um, if if you look at 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 the the hard work that we put in, if you look at the stats after the games, you would see that these guys were running their socks off. You know, uh, we were unfortunate. We drew against Mexico. We should have won. We had a couple of chances. Kila had two. Uh, mm. Teko had two. Yeah. And against Uruguay, you know, the red card let us down. Yeah. We, we should have probably got a draw. Yes. If if yeah. not a win, but then we lost. Against France, had we, you know, had the guys known that we sh we, we needed probably four or five goals, we would have proceeded into the next round. But it was never to be. But like I said, I can't I can't falter anyone. We, we gave it the best shot. You know, the guys worked very hard. The preparation was good from Safa. Yes, yeah. The support that they gave us. But what I'm disappointed about was is that after the World Cup, you know, um, yeah. the support that they gave us before the World Cup and before the Confederations Cup, uh, they never got to proceed with that. You yeah. know, and I think had they continued, had there been continuity of what they yes. did 
in those past two years, yeah. I think we could by now be far, far, far. We could be, you know, uh, a better national team. Do you, do you remember your first game for Bafana? I think it was in the Kosafa. I think we yeah. were in Swaziland. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. And you went on to play more than uh, 50? Yeah, 54. I, 54. I could have played more. Yeah. Um, I had injuries. I had problems with my injury, if, if injuries in my career. But you know that's 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 um, that's a lot of games to play, especially for a national team. I, I remember watching you uh, playing for the um, um, under 23s. Yeah. Uh, you were actually playing centre back uh, during the Sasol Eight Nations. Yeah. Remember that team? Um, I remember that team yeah, very well. Yeah, with uh, I think it was there. It no, was there. Senzo, Senzo was the number one though. Yeah. Sandiland. Um, yeah, that team was quality, man. Gift Remy, the late yes. gift. Yeah. Uh, boy, boy, Musia, Stanton, Mudubi, Masilo, Mudubi, uh, Jeffrey Tuka. The young Michael Gambole. Yeah. yeah. Scappy. Yeah. That team was, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. was something else. I thought. That was going to be the next Bafana team, yes. but it never happened, you know, Gift passed away, some of the boys had, you know, issues with, with, with the, they were ill-disciplined and they never got to push further in their careers. But yeah, going back to that tournament, man, yo, yeah. I think the reason why I got to be played uh, in defence was that, um, you know, a lot of us were, were lacking in height, you know, yes. we were the shortest team. Yeah. And uh, we were playing against China. Yes. <laughs> we, we all know as, you know, yeah. Chinese are you know, the yeah. shortest people, yeah. but yeah. they were so tall. Yeah. They were so tall. Everyone quick. from, from, they were quick, you know, they, so Coach Steve had to, had to, to uh, take me back into the center back position just to help. Me. Yeah. And yeah, it, 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 it worked. I think I did well in that position. I, I think I should put an invoice because I, I remember I, I I was still with Kickoff Magazine yeah, and you I, I, I put yes I put I put an assist for you there. Yeah, so, a nice story. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah put a very <laughs> nice story. I said he's ready for for Bafana Bafana, yeah. but obviously he started all the way at um, at um, uh, uh, Blomfontein Young Tigers. Young Tigers yeah. You know how how do you get them? Look. Um, I'm going to talk about, you know, you saying uh, ready for Bafana Bafana. Yes. But yeah, um, Young Tigers got me from Cardiff Space in, in, in Brantford, where I was born. So you played for Cardiff where now? No, no. You it, played for Cardiff, no, the, the I, other one. I tried, you started in Cardiff. <laughs> yeah, I tried at Cardiff. I started what a Cardiff. coincidence. Okay. Yeah, they need to link up. I'll, 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 I'll have to link them up. Okay. Monday. Yeah, so Cardiff, we were affiliated in the SAB League and then went to Bloomfontein Young Tigers, played for their junior team, which were also affiliating in the ABC Motsepe. It was known uh, by, what, what was it called? It was called um, Vodacom. Vodacom, yeah, yeah Vodacom League. Called yeah. Vodacom, Vodacom League. League, yeah. And then, you know, everything of mine in my career happened so quick. Yes, I must yes, say. yes, yes, uh, yes. I spent only, I think, six months and I at, got promoted. At Tigers. No, at the junior oh, team the junior of Tigers. Of, of Tigers, yes. Yeah, yeah. And they promoted me to the first team. Same thing, around six months. Then. Who are you playing with the uh, Tigers? Is, is Tiger still there? Mototo? Or Mototo was there. Yeah. Tato. But then he left. No, Tato, no. He, Tato Matuka. He wasn't playing. Okay. Uh, Patrick Malokas, he was playing. Yes, Patrick, okay. Uh, Pat, yeah. Yeah, for, yeah. for Pirates also. Um, they were look, they were good players actually. Actually, Tigers was was a better team than Celtic uh, a season before uh, Celtic got to be promoted. In the, okay. Yeah. So, and then yeah, I spent six months at Tigers. Uh, got scouted by Coach Carbo and the late Rocky Malala from Golden Arrows. But wait, 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 wait. Apparently, that signing nearly did not happen because your mother had. Other plans? Tell, tell us what happened there. Look, um, no. What, what happened was that after they saw me, you know, I, I'm talking about Coach Cabo and the late Mr. Madlala. Yes. 
um, I, I went to, to Devon. I thought maybe everything would be done and all that. So I spent over seven, eight months uh, just training. Oh. You know, the matter could not be, you know, uh, dealt with. They couldn't yeah. come to an agreement because yes. I, I think Tigers was asking for a lot of money. Yes. And I remember on the day, um, on it was on a Thursday um, evening. I went to 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 Mr. Matlala. I said, "Look, I think it's better if I go back, you know, to finish off my contract, and I will come back again next season." And then he said, there's no way I'm letting you go back. I want you. I said, but look, it's been over eight months of just training, no salary, yeah. nothing, you know. And then he said, we'll decide tomorrow. I said, but if nothing happens, can I please leave tomorrow? Yes. Just give me the money, I'll book a bus, and then I'll go back home. Yes. So on a Friday after training, mind you, uh, it's the last training before the guys, you know, fly back, fly to to Joburg. Yeah. So, in the morning after training, they called me. I said, "Look, everything has been sorted out. You are in the team, and you are actually playing tomorrow. You're okay. Playing Chiefs." Yes. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Yeah. Um, yeah, we went to took photos. You know, they registered me, we flew, yes. played against Chiefs. We had a good game, actually. We had but a good I, I want this story about, um, apparently, you you were going to join the force. Oh, yes. when I was at... at, at um, yeah. The same thing happened at Tigers. At Tigers. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was promised a contract by yes. Mr. Horai. Just, I, I'm going to give you a contract. That's what he's saying. And then on the other side, I had applied in the army. In and the army. I, I had a contract also, two and a half year with the army. So you were just looking for a contract, when you wanted to no. secure yourself. Yeah. And, and, and obviously look after Umama and the family. Yeah. Yes. So then, you know, obviously they knew about it at home. My mom knew that I got a contract from the army, but I'm here training with Tigers and I don't have a contract. <laughs> and then. I went to Mr. Horai and said, look, man, um, I've, I've got a, a, a job opportunity in the army and it's yeah. guaranteed. I'm go this is how much I'm going to earn. This yeah. is the, I have to go to camp on Monday. You wanted to do this army thing. You were in. Look, then. whichever came first, yeah. you know, for as long as there is, you know, salary at the end of the month. Yeah. And Mr. Horai said, look, uh, don't worry. I'm definitely going to give you a contract. So on a Monday when I was supposed to be reporting at the army camp, I didn't go. Yeah. And you know, uh, we, I had a fallout with my mom. It's like, no, you left this, this job opportunity and now you're waiting for something that's not guaranteed. Yes. So yes. look, I'm not gonna help you with this and that and that. Okay. So it was, it was frustrating for me yeah. because- Yeah, you obviously uh, need your mother yeah by your yeah. side as a yeah. support yeah. and a week know. later you know um, mr Horai, you know called me to the office i think it was the three of us um said look this is what i'm gonna offer you oh you wow uh, not even equivalent to what i was gonna get at the army so you could have been um you probably still had a job now yeah working yeah. In the army. Yeah. All in right. the army or All right. yeah. Okay. So yeah, and then I got a contract. Um got to I wasn't happy with the contract, but you know, I I, I thought look, it's just you know, about me pushing myself yeah. and hopefully um I got to get a salary increase or I get scouted by a premier league team. Yeah, golden and arrows. Luckily, so it happened within a couple of months. When, when, when do you realize that you've got talent uh, to go further? To be honest, um, as soon as after I got promoted, after I got, you know, uh, bought from Cardiff Spurs, because we were, there's little opportunities yes. back home, back that side, you know. Okay. Um, you can't be playing football and hoping, look, I'm going to make it, big somewhere or yes. there's gonna be a Bloomfontein Celtic bus 
that would be here and then there'd be coaches and watching you guys and try to impress. It never happens. So I, to be honest, same, I never you know, thought that would be get that far with, with my career because there were little opportunities. Yeah. But then, yeah, yeah it happened and, yeah. Then you are playing against Kaiser Chiefs. It's your debut. Um, it's your first game in Joburg. In Joburg. Yeah. FNB. FNB Stadium. Yeah, yeah, when it was FNB Stadium. Yes, yeah, 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 the old FNB. Yeah. Who, who are you up against here? It's, I, I can imagine Tabo Mungi, yeah, uh, Tinashe Nengomasha in the middle. Tinashe. Yeah, the young Gerald Sibego. Yeah, and I think Tiger was at, at Chiefs at that Yes, Mototo. yeah, Tiger. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he played with you. him at, at Tigers, yeah. and here I'm meeting him yeah. at Chiefs. Uh, yeah. Arthur Zwanis, you know. They, yeah. they was, it was, and Shoes. Yeah. So it was um, yeah, a great game. We lost. Uh, we put in a good fight, though. Yeah. Um, I think Davis Peer was, was outstanding on that day. Yeah. He was the goalkeeper. Yeah. But then, yeah, it's a game that I enjoyed, and yeah, uh, on a, I think on um, during the week we, we were playing against Celtic yes. at home in yeah. Devon. Yeah. Um, we won, and I think that was the f that was the last game of of um, of the first round. The first round, yeah. And then we had to go for a Christmas break, so I went back home. And I, I didn't know anything. And then I just got a call from Bunny, yeah. Mr. Bunny Kujani, and said, look, you've been selected for the under 23. Yes, yes, so it's, yes, it's yes, like yeah, it's something yeah. that I didn't expect. Yeah, I was just yeah. home chilling. Th things that just happened for you. They, they just happened. And the next thing, um, under 23, yeah. then there's obviously the Kosafa team. Yeah, the Kosafa um, team. I, I remember you were there together with, uh, with uh, Sia Sangwini. And Derek Spencer, right? Yeah, there was, um, yeah, there were a good couple of players. Shaba was there. Um, and then there was this other time um, where I think there was an A team and a B. We were in the B team. Yes, we were yes. playing the Kosafa. And the other guys had to go yes. play in Cape Town. I think yes. it was against Algeria or something. Yes, yeah. And, uh, yeah, soon after that, you know, I think we didn't do well in Cape Town. Soon after that, that's when they started, you know, uh, introducing us to the to yes. the A team. Yeah. yeah. Your, 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 your career with Bafana, obviously, um, you played in the um, two AFCON and the World Cup. How would you sum it up? <sighs> Look, like I said earlier, I could have played more games, but because of injuries, um, I didn't, you know, play as much as I could have, but 54 games in a country where there's loads of people, loads of talent, uh, and playing that number of games, it's, you know, it's something that I could be proud of. Yeah. But, um, yeah, overall, I, I must say, you know, um, I think I did, I did well in most of the games. Um, it's unfortunate, you know. Yeah. One never got to win a big trophy with the national team. You are a top player at Arrows. Um, obviously, you played with, with Papi. At some stage, you played with um, uh, Masena Mela. Senna and then, Mela. yeah, uh, yeah Senna Mela, yes. And then there's a talk of you, you know, joining one of the big three. Did you get an offer from the big three? Just before you, 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 you went, Look, there, there was, was an interest there were, in the there UK. Were, there were, yeah, there were talks. Yeah, there but, were talks. Um, you know how it's like, you know, everything would happen in the background. But I think this this one, the Fulham one, was something that, you know, they could have, you know, easily rejected because, you know, it's a Premier League team. And yes. There's going to be um, a lot of transfer fees going on between the yes. two teams. Yes. So, yeah, um, there were talks, though, of, yeah. of, of, of the big teams. But, were you uh, kidding? He, yeah, I mean, it's everyone's <laughs> dream to be playing for for the likes of Pirates or Chiefs. But, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I was, but, you know, luckily. Who between the two now, um, uh, then, if you talk to a, a young KG, who do you join? <laughs> um, yeah, I would say, I would say Chiefs. Okay. 
I would say Chiefs. I've, I've always supported Chiefs from okay. a young age. Yes. Um, my granddad used to support Chiefs. Yes. He's, he was claiming to be to be supporting Pirates, but when yeah. Chiefs is playing, you'd be singing, Dr. Kumalo. But, you know, but you could tell that it's not about Dongishi. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's about Chiefs. It, it's about Chiefs. Yeah. Do, do you have any of the Bafana teammates uh, on your ear, you know, uh, about joining Chiefs before or Pirates before you go to, to Fulham? Because I remember the, the, the move to, to Fulham um could have it, it there was a prolonged yeah. uh, kind of uh, it kept it dragged yeah, because no, of the work well, permit issues. yeah the work permit did, did you at some stage you know um say maybe let me join a big team here and then move from there or no look um it's what's going to your mind it, it's it's it wasn't easy it's not easy to play for a big team yeah. you know you need to to work hard and um I was enjoying my football at Arrows. And I went on a trial uh, at Fulham in, in 2008, a two-week trial. Yeah. And they said, look, we like you. Yes. We will send you some program that you can keep you know, okay. uh, doing. But definitely, in 2009, we're taking you, provided you know, that you get the, the work permit. So like I said, I was enjoying my football at Golden Arrows. I was comfortable. Um, I could only improve from there, yes. you know. Um, so I never thought of saying, look, let me move away from here because mm. what if I move to Kaiser Chiefs and things don't go well, I don't play enough games and Fulham loses interest, you know. What do you think is a difference between you and someone else who aspires to play in the Premier League? What do you think was the difference? Look, um, the discipline. I've always been a disciplined uh, player, always willing to learn, um, listening to everyone around me, whether it's an adult, a you know, young player. You know, in football, learning never stops. So, yeah, I think what 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 motivated everything throughout my career, also what added value, was the discipline. I've always been a disciplined player. This discipline, do you think? You also picked up some lessons from cricket because I'm told <laughs> that you are quite uh, a good batsman. Hence Bola. your nickname, Vaz. Yeah, Bola. <laughs> Why are you getting these stories? <laughs> oh, you 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 so yeah. calling my bro my 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 <laughs> friends from Brunford. No man, they used to call me Vaz. Yeah, Vaz. Uh, there, yeah. there was a there was a bowler from Sri Lanka. His name was uh, Chaminda Vaz. Okay. Yeah, I think the name came from there. But yes. I enjoyed bowling more than everything. Yes, else. Yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> so if you are not a footballer, probably cricket. You think? I mean, look, if if you were to ask me, um, you know, from my you know young young age. Yeah, uh, playing both sports, cricket and football. Yes. Which one would I be hoping to have been played? I would say cricket because I was playing cricket more than soccer. Oh wow! Know? Interesting. Even at yeah, uh, even at school I was I was doing cricket. Yeah. And yeah, so I I would have probably been a cricket. Great stuff, KG. Obviously, you you join uh, Fulham and you wait you wait. Um, quite a bit for to make your your debut uh, in the English Premiership. Millions watching. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know your next question. But it's fine. Yeah. Well, well, okay. Just your preparation now in terms of uh, mental strength, um, uh, waiting. Obviously, you don't have many friends, foreign country. Um, how, because between uh, signing your deal, um, I think on the uh, announcement on the 27th of August, uh, 2009, and also making your debut, um, obviously you're watching your teammates playing, uh, you're missing home, but how do you keep yourself, you know, collected and mm. focused? To your goal? Look, I think um, 
the coach Roy Hodgson made it easy for me. Yeah. You know, um, he's, he's a favorite of South African players, by the way. Yes, and yes, okay. I had, like, he used to play in South Africa also. And Roy? Yeah, he was playing for um, Acadia Shepherds. Or, Acadia Shepherds, oh, yes, okay. Yeah, I think so. Back in the days. Yes, yes, yeah. okay. And, um, yeah, he made it easy for me. He would, you know, time to time advise me, you know. Yeah do this and that and that and that. So going to the game, I was already prepared. You know? yeah. There's obviously some, some, some nerves that would kick in, you know. Um, but yeah, it, was, it wasn't that difficult for me. Yeah. And You're I'm, pumped up. I was pumped up, hence, yeah. <laughs> hence the situation, the red card. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I wanted so bad. I wanted yeah. to, to, to prove myself that, look, it's not by fluke that I got signed by you guys. We are waiting, watching in South Africa. Everyone is watching. You know, your family, tough game. You are buzzing. Then, boom, red card. <laughs> is, have, have you have you made peace with Scott Parker? No, look, you know, when, when you're playing, the emotions are going high, and you sometimes don't know what you're doing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got caught up in a heated uh, situation whereby, you know, there was a scuffle. Um, Scott was, he's, he's a busy guy. Yeah. One of the dirtiest players I've, Okay. I've played against, by the way. Competitive. Yeah, he's, you know, he's a tough tackler. And, you know, everyone was, was furious at him, yeah. even the coach. And, yeah, um, I mean, I didn't mean, obviously, to do, uh, to cause any harm. You, you posted the picture recently on, yeah. on, on Twitter and it created quite a buzz. Yeah. And um, you were also cheeky with your congratulations uh, to, yeah. to, uh, uh, to Fulham following the promotion. Yeah. Did I you just, get I maybe, just... or, or, uh, or did you, uh, what, what did some of your teammates uh, to say about the picture? And first and Scott Parker now, I mean, obviously yeah. at, at, at Fulham, um, did you get any no, backlash? No, not really, no. Uh, you know, it was yeah. football banter. Okay. Uh, a lot of the fans were laughing about it. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I just wanted to remind him that this is what <laughs> I've done to you. If you don't get my team promoted, yeah. then this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Again. But uh, like it wasn't it, yeah. nothing serious, No, not intending to threaten. It was just, you know, yeah. um, football banter. Yeah. Yes, and then obviously you had a very um, a, a good career, you know, uh, playing in Europe. Um, when you look back, um, you obviously went to Crystal Palace, yeah. loan first, and then um, and then you made it permanent in 2011, signing a tier contract. Um, first, how, how do you sum up your time? Um, in, 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 in Europe, playing at uh, Fulham, Crystal Palace, and, 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 and Cardiff? Yeah. Look, for me personally, I think, you know, I, I did well. It's not that easy for, for someone to, to move, move him from South Africa to the UK and straight away in the first season get to play, you know, quite a number of reasonable games. Yeah. And mind you, even then, I could have played a lot of games. I, I, I think I played four, 15, 16 games yes. that season. Yeah. And yeah. I got the red card, which means two games are off. Someone comes in into the starting 11, cements his place. I came back um, into the starting 11 again. I got the injury. I think it was against Bolton. That took me out for some time. So. I could have played a number, a, a, quite a number of, of, of games, more than what I played. So, um, moving from from Fulham, it's it's a decision that had to be, you know, done, because um, Roy signed me. Yeah. Roy in that season he did well. He took us to the final of the Europa. Yes. Um, then Liverpool signed him and yes. you know it's normal for a manager when the new manager comes in yeah he would bring in his own staff yeah. new players yeah so i didn't i wasn't getting enough but games. you had done enough to yeah. to to get yourself yeah um a move to crystal palace yeah 
so I went on loan before I signed. Like you said, um, Palace when it was were in a in a bad situation. Yeah. Um, they were about to get relegated, so I went in there and then you know first thing first I met up with the coach. He said, look, this is the situation. Yeah. I know you can help us, and if it happens that you know um, you wanna move back to Fulham, then so be it. But if you wanna stay here. I can sign you. I can convince the chairman to sign you. And yeah, I played, helped Fulham to, I mean, Crystal Palace to survive the relegation that season. Yeah. Yeah, I remember on the, the very last game that I played, I scored, it was against Cardiff. Yes. Yeah, I scored and it guaranteed us, you know, the survival. Yeah. And yeah. even after then, the coach was like, look, because we were left with, I think, three games after yes. then. He said, look, you've done your job. Yeah. I want to sign you. So I don't need to be putting in a strong team to be playing. I don't need to be winning games. We survived. You can go home, back in South Africa, or you can go train with Fulham, finish the games with them. So I went back to Fulham, um, and then you, I told them the situation. They said, no, look, it's fine. You can go. We'll discuss the rest in the new season. So yeah, I came back. You know, The new coach was there again. Uh, Martin Yol. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes, 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 yes. look, Martin also had to bring in his own players. And then I said, look, it's fine. Um, can this deal be done? I'm going to Crystal Palace. So, yeah, I went back to Crystal Palace. We, the first season, I remember, we, we didn't do well. But in the second season, then, yeah, yeah. that's when we got promoted. You came up against very interesting players. Mm. Including Ashley Young. Yeah. You complained to the referee. Mm. You think he dived? Yeah, he, t he t took a dive. Definitely. <laughs> That's why he. Um, oh, you mean the red card one? The red card. Man, I think he. At Old Trafford. It was yeah. It was a it was a soft challenge. Um, you know. Uh, the worst that I could have got was a yellow, not yeah. a red card. Yeah. But you know, when playing against Ashley, he's someone that you always you know, need to be careful of because he's good at that. He's good at diving. Do, do, do you think you have a, a what, what you call you're robust or you had that rush of blood in you? Because when I look at both uh, incidents yeah. um, where you are hyped up at, at a game, do you think yeah. you had that uh, sort of robustness about your game or the rush of, uh, of blood look, it's where you can pull out like Like I said, like I said um, emotions go high when you are playing in the game. Yes. You, know, you sometimes get caught up in that uh, heated situation and... I mean, I'm a holding midfielder, defensive holding midfielder. Yeah. It's, it's expected of you to be, you know, that rough, but not with the intention to cause fouls, but obviously to win the ball. So, I mean, in that situation, you know, I, I was rushed. Yeah. You know, and yeah, uh, it was, for me personally, it was a soft foul. Yeah. I don't think I deserved a red card. Yeah. KG, after. Um, so many years in Europe, you come back, and again, everyone is thinking that you will go to the big tree, mm. but you decide to go back to Arrows. Mm. How, 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 how did that happen? No approach from the big teams, or it's your decision, your mind is made up that I, I want to go back Look, to Arrows. Um, even then, there were, you know, uh, talks. There were a bit of negotiations there and there. Uh, pirates, uh, chiefs. But I, I couldn't go again to a better team uh, except Arrows. Yeah. Because yeah. they gave me the platform yes. to be playing in a professional level. And you and enjoyed a very good relationship with yeah, the chairman. Yeah, a good relationship uh, with the chairman, with the chair lady. The chair lady, yes. Yeah. And yeah, 
you know, it's about just loyalty. And like I said, there was no anyone else I could have joined except them. Um, obviously, you you go, then um, you retire. You announce your retirement on the 11th of July, mm -hmm. uh, 2018. And um, immediately you, you you get your your first coaching job. Yeah. Um, at Real Eagles. Real Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got a friend of mine there, uh, the lady Rogers Kakani. Yeah. So how did that happen? Um, Look, um, Roger, I've been a favorite of Roger for for some for some time, you know. And when you were playing, when I was playing, when I was back in in Europe, um, yeah. uh, I could only watch cheaper. Even if there was a derby, I would only watch cheaper because of the way he was conducting, you yeah. know, his his game plan. Yeah. He was a clever coach, and yeah. you know, I remember someone tipped me. He said, "Look, um, I think you could do uh, at, at at Royal Eagles with with Coach Roger." Yeah. It's like he knew that um, I want. I've always wanted to work with Roger. Okay. But then, yeah, I took a, a phone and then I called him. I said, "Look." Um, this is the situation I hear that you need an assistant coach. Yeah, he said, yeah. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for an assistant, and you are the perfect choice. When can you get down here? But first of all, call James. I'm going to tell James, yeah. uh, who is the team manager, I'm going to tell him that you're going to be my assistant. Just arrange how you guys, you know, yeah, the Gonna, contract stuff. Yeah. yeah, the bibs and bobs. Yeah, yeah and then it, it happened, but then sadly he wasn't, you know, he was ill, uh, but, you know, he's a clever person. He was a clever person. Yeah. Uh, the way he conducts sessions, you know, he was uh, soft spoken. It was, it, was, it was fun to work with him. And then you get to take over. Yeah. Uh, impressive start. Yeah. Um, but everyone did not expect you to leave um that yeah what looked like a very promising uh, yeah. start for you look we 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 didn't start so well um, yeah. for a team like royal eagles to be not getting their first three points in the four games yes uh we, we lost the first two we drew the next two and yeah. after the fourth one that's when coach was was you know advised to to take a break because yes. he was very ill right then yeah yeah then we were playing against tax right? yeah and tax were flying they were number one at that time yes they had never lost a game yes at all away at home in Pretoria. yes yes so yeah i had to prepare the whole week you know go through their videos um, yeah. make yeah. clips yeah. make analysis and yeah we won we yeah. won one zero. Um, then we had Utongati, same thing. They had coach Harrington. Yes. You know, one of the best in my opinion currently. Okay. Uh, it was always gonna be difficult. They keep the ball, you know, they will frustrate you, they work hard. Yes. Did yes. the same thing, got to study them, you know, go through most of their games, do the analysis and we beat them. And uh, the next game we had, uh, that's when issues started. Actually, before um, the game, there were issues as to... You know. what, what is the issue? Because the team is winning, and yeah. obviously you are a professional, you are in charge of the team. Yeah. The, the issue was that I, I gave the players an off on the international break. Yes. The issue started there. And... Um, you did you consult with the management? Yeah, I told them. Mm. I told them, I said, look, the boys need to get an off. It's an international break. So, I, you know, day one, we need to reward them. Yeah. After all, I put in hard sessions before they went on a break. And, yeah, I consulted. They yeah. were just happy with, with what I did. But I don't think that's the issue. Yes. I don't think that's the issue. I mean, yeah. 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 if it's an international break, why wouldn't you want to give the boys an off? Yeah. Yeah. You know? And then you leave. Then, yeah. Decided to part ways. Yeah. 
And yeah, a couple of months later, uh, I'm out of the picture, obviously, of which it's something that a coach wouldn't want. Yeah. You don't want to be out of the picture for too long. I went to... To uh, Bank. Yeah. Same thing. Actually, it was a nightmare. Yeah. Nightmare. It was, it was the impossible situation at Whitbank because they were um, on the, they were last in the standing. Yes. Yeah, they were yes. the last team yes. in the standing. So you were there to save the team. I was there to save the yeah. team. But like I said, it was like the impossible situation. Uh, had I got enough support, I mean, you bring in me, say, come help the team. Yeah. Why in the first place did you? if you don't believe in me. So that was the case at Whitbank also, you know, preparing the team, come on the weekend, problems. Coaching, now, yeah. um, with those two experiences, is it something that you want to do? Are you busy doing, did you end up doing your badges? No, no. They, they got postponed to January. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're busy with your badges now? Yeah. Yes, and um, you know, as, as, as we wrap up, I. I remember that you launched um, a partnership yeah. um, with Rio Ferdinand uh, mm. Foundation and the Crystal Palace Foundation. Yeah. Perhaps you want to give us an update to what was yeah, the what, latest? What happened was that you know we were focusing more on young aspiring coaches and the football development in, in South Africa, yes. of which is something that the Rio Ferdinand Foundation is, is um, more keen on, you know, the development. And, you know, Crystal Palace came on board also. I remember, in, in, I think it was 2014, 15. Yeah. And I brought them to South Africa, you know, the, the coaches from Crystal Palace, together with ETA South Africa, to host a course, introductionary course for the young aspiring coaches. Yes. And, you know, I have, I had, you know, big names that came there, you know, uh, Mustafa uh, Kumbulani Kongo. Yes, yes. He's yes, the yes. CEO at Chiefs at, and at, at, at Celtic. Yeah, yeah at Celtic, Celtic yeah. sorry. Um, he attended the course. Sean, um, he was the Bafana Bafana, I mean Banyana Banyana goalkeeper coach. Yes. And you know, some other young boys also who, who got to, to train even the under fourteen teams that got to the finals of the Danone um, finals. So uh, yeah, it's, it was worth a value. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's good to have it on your CV. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we partnered with uh, Crystal Palace, ETA, we hosted the coach. But like I said, it's more about focusing on the young ones. You, you, know. you when you launched the the, 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 the initiative, mm. you, you spoke about the values you learned from your grandfather yeah. and your mother. Do you want to reflect on what you meant? What, what kind of values did Look, you learn? Because uh, talking to some of your mates, they, yeah. they, they, they talk about your humility. Yeah. They talk about your generosity. Um, wh what kind of values sort of uh, drove you yeah. uh, to, to these kind of initiatives? Look, they, 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 they had good humanity also. Um, yeah. They always liked to give back. Yeah. And I think that I, I took from them. You know, I always like to give back to the community. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same with, 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 with the foundation and the development. It's just more about giving back. And, you know, people can better themselves to become the next the KGs, the next Isiabongankos, the next Spiwe Chabalalas. And also you tried, you know, owning a football club as well. I, I, I understand that you invested quite a lot. Yeah, a lot of money. A, lo a lot of money yeah. and resources there. Yeah. But it didn't go quite well. No. Um, again, that that's like giving back. Yes. Uh, the, the team was campaigning in the ABC Moleke Mo Motsipe, Motsipe League. Yeah. And yeah, it was quite costly. You know, you sometimes had to pay the players a monthly salary. Yes. There's no grant in there. But again, besides being the, the the giving back part, some some kind of also investment, you know, if they do well, you can get promoted to the NFD, to the PSL, whatever. 
but yeah but m mainly the main important thing was to just give back to the community and we had a lot of, of players from rural areas from you know um, underprivileged families yes. okay. so yeah it, 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 it meant a lot to the community of Bloomfontein also. I understand that you're still involved with the game but through your apparel hmm. do you want to tell us more no, yeah, um, uh, we've we formed this this company, me and uh, my partner uh, by the name of uh, Benny Mohadinyan. Okay. So we, you know, we we had attended a couple of 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 Kosafa, um conferences whereby all the delegates from from the associations from each and every country that's that's within the the, the Kosafa uh, uh, thing conference. We sent out some proposals, you know, and uh, Malawi uh, liked, you know, what they saw, what yes. we we had we had designed for them, and we 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 got into a three-year partnership with them. Okay. And yeah, we we are the technical sponsor of Malawi national team. Okay. So we we also trying to you know um, look for something around. South Africa or even Africa, but um, it's, it's got a potential. Talking about the apparel, um, we always find it difficult to, yeah. you know, to move from one thing to another. I mean, as a footballer, uh, moving from the game mm -hmm. and doing something else, how did you get that balance and, and, and transition right? It wasn't an easy transition, um, but luckily so. The guy that I'm working with, they've been in the game for too long. Uh, the designer also yes. have been in the game for too long. I think he, at some point he worked for Puma. Okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, it, it was it was helpful for me because um, had I not chosen them to be part of this, I would have struggled a big time. But yeah. it helped me a lot, though it wasn't an easy transition, especially when it comes to the contract also with the national team, it's, it's, not, it's nothing, you know, that easy. We had to get the lawyers involved to help us through the, the deal itself. But yeah, it, it went well. we on our last year now. It ends in, in, in November. And yeah, we're hoping to get more. Do you work on the transition when you're playing to say, you prepare yourself to say, this is what I'm going to do? Or you had to say, I'm retiring, I'm moving to this. No, it's something that I didn't expect. No, like you did mention earlier on, if I wanted to be involved still, but um, in terms of coaching, um, that also, I wasn't expecting it to happen because I more basically wanted to be in the development side, of which is something again that we're working on uh, with the guys from, from the UK trying to set up a proper development structure. KG, thank you very much for, for your time. Um, I know that you, yeah, men, always busy with family yeah. and some of your business projects. Um, thank thank you, you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for spending time with us at Lutando Zibeko TV. Please do subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss any of our exciting content including exclusive content and we want to thank Andile and Iziko for hosting us. Thank you so much. See you soon.